so it came like this neatly packaged even with like a white cover to make this box from scratch so that's very thoughtful um, it's green obviously apparel so that's how the box looks it's, it's very important to read it is Mac compatible and Windows um, there's other information that you like to read on the box then you read it your typical box and then you unopen the box and then you'll get another box and then you take out the box and you'll get another plastic box and then you'll get the material there's nothing in the box now put that aside um, your typical typical razor paper that it will come with two stickers and that's your quick start something something blah 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 and there is your Nava 2014 uh, MMO mouse uh, that's your wiring it's gold plated USB and your braided wire wire wiring uh, I prefer wire gaming mouse because I don't like because I use because like right there demonstrating right now that I play with wireless gaming mouse and it does have delay time and it does give you some kind of weird jerk cursor jerk jerking it glitches like it is is problematic just go wiring um uh, razor should adapt this technology it's muted technology but I don't think it's mechanical or anything so it's just plastic clicks uh, before that I demonstrated that it didn't make no sound and that I de demonstrated before that right right just now the lining of the mouse uh, I owned a Razer Mazer I love this mouse but it doesn't turn off the LED when the PC is off and this is the muted e-blue e white mouse that I just that you can see on the screen so this is the the Razer Naga 2014 um, unplug this is how this it will look like this when the when your computer is off there's a grill in the front there's it looks like a grenade uh, this is my first look pressing the button checking it out uh, the side buttons are mechanical so you could hear the mechanic switches but that doesn't really matter and you could hear the noise of it uh, it's really click clicky and compared to the muted mouse that I showed you before um, you will wake the neighbors when you're watching naughty shit at night um, this is how it looks when you when it's plugged in so the green light goes well with the green razor theme uh, everything's green those lights are beautiful but uh, I do not like the the blinking razor logo and you cannot change that in synapse also so it'll, if it always the logo will always blink or you could turn it off uh, this is demonstrating how razor or any keyboard should do razor um, wire management like I'm demonstrating right now I have to drill a hole in the table to get the wire looking pretty neat but it still looks nasty the one way to get this behind is have the wire option to tuck it under so it goes under your desk and under under your keyboard so it look more much neater even the wi uh, the mouse wiring to the keyboard and then going under to connect to your PC instead of drilling a hole uh, because the wiring will look ugly if you just go straight across the table or your desk as I'm demonstrating with my fingers or my hands so that's another thing Razer or any other keyboard manufacturers should consider the wiring management um, this is showing some synapse you could the lighting you turn on everything's on the light options there's only three logo side keys and the wheel lighting everything's off I'm gonna turn them one by one on first the logo will be on 
and then the logo, the blinking logo. Sadly, I told, mentioned before that it only blinks. It doesn't. There's no option for make it steady. So that's how the logo looks. And I'm demonstrating next is the side buttons. It doesn't blink. There's no option to make it blink. It's only steady. And then finally the third, the wheel scroll LED. Personally, I like the wheel scroll lights and the side buttons. I don't like the blinking razor logo lights. So that's the lighting and uh, also in CNMs you could control the sensitivity and customize the buttons. This is okay. First, I'm really pissed that I had to freaking research for one hour on Google to to find out how to use these um, the whole function. The whole reason I got this was to use the use these freaking buttons, right? I had the Naga Hex which I absolutely loved that's why I got this thinking that I will have the same experience when I'm setting it up but no the whole point ruined it for me because they got rid of the number lock I don't know how to really call it but Naga Hex at the bottom they had this number lock one two three and number lock option where you click click and then you switch it from number lock settings to number because without that when you bind it in League of Legends like it will literally bind it as one two or three therefore you cannot this will one two three will be binded also when you press this on your keyboard one two three four five six seven it will use as number items um item 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 key which is your health pot, your, you know, your um, trinket is number four. So it will, it will use it when you bind it with this because it's numbered. It's not number locked. Therefore, that feature in the Naga Hex at the bottom was very useful. And I can't believe when they upgrade a product or when just say like iPhone 5, iPhone 6, they'll make it better. But in this case... 2014 model of the Naga is downgraded how the fuck does that happen so that's my beef for taking away a such a good feature away just just because some genius at Razer said oh we must make them use freaking the software like I don't want to freaking open the software every time I want to fucking play league and use fucking number number lock like without opening up software without opening 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 up your signap this will still be used as number two to uh, even after you set up as number lock that i'll get to that point after the one hour research how to how, how to freaking bind it as number key anyway first let's start but in inconvenient so every time I have to freaking open Signal first and then open up League because without opening up the program, it won't be enabled to use as number lock. When you just go into League without opening the Signals, this will still be number one, number two, number three. And it's not number locked. And I know people say there's a link program, but um league of legends always update their stuff so you got every time they update you gotta customize your link program button and i don't even know if that even that will cure the cure the non signamp open but whatever this whole thing would be avoided this whole bad experience will be avoided if they just didn't get rid of the number 
number lock tr number one two option button at the bottom I mean what what did they get rid of such thing also the Naga Hex felt like it was mahogany but this thing feels more cheaper but it's kind of more lighter and it's more cheaper also when you grip it like this is the only way you could grip it it would be so inconvenient for going like this the buttons like this therefore I had to unbind number five and use that as my as my um as my uh, like a grip Naga Hex had this idea where there was a thumb rest or grip place at the uh, right in the middle so I, my fingers were very comfortable going through it why didn't they thought of that I like I like I like products that they already thought for you some some brilliant people anybody have the balls to freaking just take away the five key and then use this I mean it would be so much better if there's a freaking hole there like get rid of five and nobody will complain they be like oh customer be like oh they oh nice thought out plan you know get rid of five make that into a solid piece so there's a freaking hole here so my hands won't have to hold the button here so I have to freaking MacGyver it and and unbind the five and make it make it do nothing so I could have a steady grip I mean just one simple this simple things matter you know 11 buttons is perfect just for a freaking grip here don't try to like make it look functional and not function as well because of the hand grip is wrong so that's all only my beef on the stuff I had to use the sinkware signamp to make it make these function as number lock it could have been all avoided if you had the number lock at the bottom click click so without that I have to use Signamp every time I open up League of Legends I have to open up Signamps to play it to function it number two there's no freaking uh, grip for your thumb for your thumb here so you have to sacrifice number five and make it a grip yourself number three why the fuck do I need to Google for one hour to find how to how to freaking get the number lock right thank God for YouTube or something or tutorials or or someone that actually freaking showed me how to freaking do it so I will make that I will link you the video that helped me tremendously I found that like one minute uh, I find that like 55 minute mark of research so I'll make it easier you have to like you have to how to do number lock Just watch the video. I'll just show you a very quick how I did it. So this will be your place, right? And then you make a profile and then go to one, select whatever you want to do it. And then go to click side view. And then you click on, click on here. And then click on here. And then you lock it on your keyboard. Number lock. And then you press one for one, and then this, and then you do the rest. For number two, click number two. Number three, click number three. And then that's how you number lock bind. So you bind it just like how would how you would bind your 
League of Legends keys on your keyboard in, in League of Legends binding option you do it exactly the same how you do it over there in here so you get the idea for number 10 you use like 0 number 11 you use like this one and then the star for number 12 so after you do that you save it and then every time you want to use that number one key you have to open synap that's my beef right there i don't want to open synap every time i want to use use it so that's that took a while of me moaning and bitching so that's my beef on it 